Hi all, this is Alan with Bachtel STEM Coach, and today we are going to be starting, um, we're doing some AP Physics problems, and we're doing uh, waves and sound, um, and so this is the first one for response. So as usual, I suggest you uh, attempt to do the problem on your own first, and then come back after you've uh, tried the problem. So we have a vibrating tuning fork is held above a column of air, shown in the diagram above. The reservoir is raised and lowered to change the water level, and thus the length of the column of air. The shortest length of air column that produces resonance is 0.25 meters, and the next resonance is heard when the air column is 0.8 meters long. The speed of sound in air at 20 degrees centigrade is 343 meters per second. The speed of sound in water is 1490 meters per second. Calculate the wavelength of the standing wave produced by this tuning fork. For which which scenario? I guess the wavelength ought to be the same. No, the frequency would be the same. Um, okay, let's do the shortest one. So uh, when this is an open air column, this is closed at the end. This is what's going to happen. It's going to do like this. Okay. So this L1, this is the shortest length. This is the fundamental frequency. This L1 is, if, if you can imagine this, as a wave that continued, right? It's one uh, one quarter of a wave, right? Because that would be a whole period. That would be a whole period. So one one quarter of a wavelength. So that means lambda is equal to four L one, and that would be four times L one, which is four times point two five. That's one meter. Okay. So that's the wavelength uh, for this first resonance. Um, the frequency. So that that's that's the wavelength. Like the wavelength of this one would be different. It's different. Well, okay. So the frequency that is produced. Uh, well, v is equal to lambda f. That's the equation that relates. Uh, this is the velocity of the wave, wavelength, and frequency of the wave. V over lambda. Uh, the velocity of the wave in air is three hundred forty-three meters per second divided by one meter. So that's three hundred forty-three uh, hertz. It's, it's 343 1 over seconds, which we write as hertz. Right, that's B. Calculate the wavelength of the sound produced by this tuning fork in the water, given the frequency in the water is the same as the frequency in air. So now if I have, I, I make uh, in this, this interface, this interface acts as a node um, uh, in water. So it, because it's the same frequency, uh, the velocity is just, oh, sorry, uh, we use the same equation, but we can rearrange for wavelength. Wavelength is velocity over frequency. The frequency is the same uh, when it enters the water, it's 343 hertz. But the velocity of the sound in water is different. It's 1490 meters per second. And so the wavelength changes. 1490 divided by 343 is uh, 4.34 meters. Okay. Um, the water level is lowered again until a third resonance is heard. Calculate the length L3 of the air column that produces the third resonance. Well, when it's an open air column, the second resonance looks, resonance looks like this. Uh, it's like that. Okay, and then the third one would look like a point here. I always have to draw them. Um, so this is the first opening. That would have been the second opening. Oops. If I kind of like, I, I usually draw like a whole bunch, and then I, I consider. So sort of this is the first opening. This is the second opening. This is the third opening right here. Okay. So for three for. Um, for the third of fundamental, this is L, this is L3. And let's look at how many wavelengths we have. We have one, one and a quarter. So that's five fourths of a wavelength. Um, so five fourths of a wavelength, the wavelength's one meter, so five fourths of that would be five fourths of a meter, or one or one point two five meters. So that would be L3. L3 is equal to one point two five meters. Um, the student performing the experiment determines that the temperature of the room is exactly 
is slightly higher than 20 Celsius. Is the calculation of the frequency of too high, too low, or still correct? Ooh, this is a fact I don't remember off the top of my head. Now I might have to look it up. What is the temperature dependency of sound in air? Oh, oh velocity. The, sorry, the um, the velocity. The question is is if the speed would change when um, when the air is warmer. Uh, I'm gonna have to look up this fact. This is just sort of a fact you just kind of have to know. Um, speed of air temperature dependence. There's a, probably a mechanism for why it goes faster in warmer water, warmer air. Yeah. So um, as temperature increases, V will go up. So as T goes up, v, I know I cheated with that because this is a fact I just don't remember. When temperature goes up, the velocity goes up. Um, so if velocity goes up, um, the wavelength would be the same because that's what we just measured. So if V goes up and the wavelength, then F has to go up. So if F would go up, that means, now you got to do this backwards, is my calculation in part A, which is 343 hertz, uh, is that too That's too low because the correct answer should be higher than this because the velocity really is higher uh, in air if the air is warmer. Okay. So, um, yeah, I did have to look at that. Why does the temperature... Sometimes, not just important to memorize dependencies. I, I try to like think of a physical reasoning as to why the temperature would affect the speed of sound in air. Um, when something's warmer, um, it does vibrate more. This, it's maybe, this may not be something you would need to know for AP Physics 1. This is a... These free response questions come from AP Physics B, the B test, which required you to know a lot more about thermodynamics and uh, other topics, some of the Physics 2 topics uh, in here. So you may not need to know this dependency. But in general, um, uh, temperature is related to sort of um, how, how much, how uh, the average kinetic energy of, of molecules that are in the air. And so warmer air is, they, they vibrate more, and I guess it makes it easier to just propagate a sound through, which is just sort of, the sound, which is just air molecules hitting each other. That's how sound's created. So, anyway, hope you found that helpful. Uh, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Please leave a comment, like, or subscribe below to catch up more of the content. And see any links below. I offer free homework help on uh, Twitch and Discord. See you guys in the next video.